All right, today I'm going to put together a project that I've been wanting to do for a while. Uh, this is a smoke machine for finding vacuum leaks in cars and trucks. I had built one of these about 15 years ago, but I can't find it, so I thought I'd build another one. The basic premise behind this is a necromium wire that's wrapped around a lantern wick that's sitting in a bath of baby oil. You energize that wire with a 6-volt lantern battery or a 12-volt car battery, and what it does is generate smoke. Uh, you put all that inside of a... Uh, pressurized canister in my case is a paint can uh, you can use any sort of vessel that you like as long as it can be sealed uh, you pump in low pressure low volume compressed air and out comes your smoke and helps you find your leaks this is a pretty inexpensive project I've got about 10 bucks in parts in this uh, most of this stuff I had laying around but I'll throw some Amazon links in the description for all these parts uh, so you can assemble your own all right our first step is going to be putting a couple holes in the side so that we can fish our uh, banana plugs and wire through uh, I'm going to put these holes about three inches up, 180 degrees out, roughly, it doesn't have to be perfect, get those marked, <clears throat> all right, grommets here. I should measure those. A little bit bigger. I'm betting it's a hair bigger will get us there. step. Alright, in the top I've got to have two holes. Uh, I've got one for an air inlet and an exit. So I've got some, some grommets that I'm going to drill in there as well. So it doesn't really matter. I'd say probably put one there and one there. Except we got a little smaller one. Alright, that'll work. Alright, now I'm going to solder a set of alligator clips onto the end of these banana plugs just for ease of removing the wick and wire. Okay, now I'm going to thread in the uh, banana plugs here and the inlet and outlet for the uh, compressed air. 
So I put these grommets on here. These, these are just the standard grommets that you can buy from Harbor Freight, nothing special. Uh, they're pretty cheap. But they're working, they work for what we're doing here. that one okay so that one's done next up is feeding banana plugs in let's go to the side here with the same kind of grommets got a washer and a nut Okay, here's what the outside looks like. And on the inside, you can see why those alligator clips are so handy. It makes it real easy to remove that wire. All right, here's the nichromium wire wrapped around the lantern wick. Uh, what I did was I spaced it about, oh, three-eighths to a half apart, just the windings there. So now I'm just gonna put that down inside here and hook it up to the alligator clips. Okay, here's the final product. I think it turned out pretty good. Got your positive and negative uh, power feeds. Got your inlet and outlet air. Down inside, you got your wire wrapped around your wick, sitting in the baby oil. Uh, all that's left is to test this thing out and make sure it works. So as it turns out, my six volt lantern battery was dead. So I brought it out to the garage to see how it does out here. Let's check it out. Works pretty good. Let's put the lid on and try it that way. All right, and here's the final product working. I've got my regulator down as low as it will go on my compressor. It's pr producing quite a bit of smoke here. So what you do is you plug this into your vacuum port and just look for the smoke, see what's coming out of your motor, and there's your leak. That's it. Hope you all enjoyed.